As we enter the busy season for cruising, One Line is bringing back a popular program that can get you on board your ship faster than anybody else. Plus, my favorite cruise line, at least as of late here in the US, is making some changes to protocols on board their ships, making it easier for you to cruise. Let's talk about that and a little bit more. Roll the intro. Hey, hey, and welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And once again, welcome on board the beautiful Celebrity Beyond. I'm in the main grand atrium with the huge chandelier behind me. Just take a look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. We have two days at sea here to wrap up the cruise. Really been enjoying my time on board. If you didn't watch my episode the other day, I had dinner at Eden the other night, which is an absolutely stunning restaurant at the aft of the ship. A beautiful view of the wake as we sail away. It was like a five course meal, had the lobster casserole, totally delicious. There was some type of pancetta or bacon in there. It just mixed fantastically, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for the cruise news and I'm gonna deliver. Now we're gonna start by turning our attention to the Carnival Corporation. Their brand ambassador, Mr. John Heald, has just released new information that they're bringing back a popular program that's gonna make you feel like one of their high-end cruisers for only a few bucks. That program is called Faster to the Fun and unfortunately, as a result of the pandemic, Carnival acts the program temporarily. Now, that is uh, finally gonna lift because starting December 1st, Faster to the Fun is going to be available across the Carnival brand. Prices start at about $50 per person per sailing. Usually it's gonna be more like 75 bucks, but it's gonna come with some pretty sweet perks if you're not a high status cruiser with the line, a diamond or platinum level cruiser. You're gonna get on the ship first in your own priority line. You're gonna have some special debarkation privileges. You're gonna have some other special sort of priority lines available to you if you need help on board the ship. Now for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the program because of the way that Carnival's check-in process works. The secret, if you don't already know, well, you just stay up super late until midnight two weeks before your cruise and check in at midnight, you're gonna get one of the first boarding times and you'll probably beat a lot of those diamond and platinum guests on board the ship anyways. And you know, as long as you're not in a hurry to get off the ship or have a very tender, heavy port schedule, well, that's pretty much gonna be faster to the fun at no charge. So there's your little free tip here of the day. Let me know in the comments section down below, have you ever tried this faster to the fun program? I know a lot of the higher status cruisers that I talk to, they're not too thrilled with the program to begin with. And I know most of you out there watching have taken your fair share of cruises. So yeah, be nice down there, but let me know in the comments below. Now, before we get into our next cruise news story of the day, I wanna remind you that my channel is solely supported by viewers like you. Yeah, call me PBS. Well, the best way to support me besides just watching these episodes is to gear up for your next cruise in my Amazon cruise store. In there, you'll find everything I take with me every time I cruise, and it's been tested and tested and tested on 20 plus cruises here just over the last year. There's a link in the description below. Check it out. Now, let's move on to perhaps my most favorite cruise line since the restart. Sorry, celebrity, shh, don't tell them. I've been cruising a lot aboard MSC cruise ships. I think the value is absolutely the best in the industry right now. And for those of you sailing without a COVID vaccine, they've just announced that you're now free to board their ships without any testing, any protocols, save for if you're cruising to Cartagena. So if you've been on the fence about booking a cruise and you didn't wanna go through the testing rigmarole, Finally, MSC Cruise Line has caught up to the rest of the industry and they're ready to deliver that amazing cruise experience that I know and love to you right away. And speaking of MSC, you know I'm gonna be cruising on board them next month for the very first sailing of their newest ship, the MSC Seascape. That Seascape ship, she was just delivered to the company by the shipyard like a day ago. It was a beautiful ceremony. Take a look at some of the images coming out and Take a look at this. Here's some pictures and videos from some crew members on board the ship. They've boarded the ship now. They're practicing their shows. And unfortunately, I've been trying to get a picture of that new Robotron ride they have on board. It's covered up, y'all. But 
they're on it for us. So as soon as I get some pictures coming out from the Robotron on Seascape, we'll check it out. I'm hoping there's some video that comes out here in the coming days because the ship, she's about to head over here to Miami and I'm gonna take you on board. It's a huge day for the island of Trinidad and Tobago as Royal Caribbean is finally set to return November 21st for the first time in 20 years. Yeah, you heard me. That doesn't sound right, does it? I was like four years old then, something? Since the last time Royal Caribbean went to Trinidad and Tobago. Crazy, but they're not the only line that's gonna be going. There's a few other cruise lines coming back to the islands and keep your fingers crossed because it sounds like local officials there in Trinidad are working hard with Royal Caribbean to schedule more itineraries to come to that beautiful, beautiful place in the world. Have you ever been there? Let me know about that. Well, it wouldn't be November without Black Friday cruise sales. Am I right? And some of the best ones I've seen in a long time are on offer. I know Celebrity has a really great sale going on right now. Definitely worth checking out, as well as some other sales that might interest you. Check out Norwegian, Holland America, as well as Virgin Voyages for some of the best Black Friday deals that I have been able to find here on the internet thus far. Yeah, I booked a cruise today, as a matter of fact, on a Black Friday cruise. I'm not gonna tell you about it because it's kind of a vacation for me, but that's the story. And speaking of cruises I'm going on, I wanna invite you on one along with me on board Carnival's brand new ship, The Celebration, out of Miami this June 11th. Yeah, we're taking a six night cruise down to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and one of my favorite ports, a private cruise destination, Mahogany Bay. It's a beautiful place. We're gonna take the cable car and we're gonna spend a beach day together in Cozumel. So if you're interested in joining me for six nights on one of the newest cruise ships and most innovative cruise ships in the world, check it out. I've got a Facebook page set up that my travel agent is running. She'll give you all the information and she can quote you probably some sweet Black Friday deals. It's a great time to check it out if you're interested. Hey, if you made it this far into today's episode, thank you so very much. You're one of my biggest supporters and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. As always, thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. And until tomorrow, we'll see you on the midships. I stayed out uh, a little bit later than usual last night. They had the Liars Club show on this ship, which if you're not familiar with it, they, they have some cheeky words that, you know, they sound like naughty words. And they put them up on the screen and the cruise director and the captain and one of the other staff members here on board the ship. They were so funny up on the stage playing the Liars Club. I can't even play the video from it because I know I'll get flagged here on YouTube. But if you see it on your next cruise and you don't mind a little PG-13 or R-rated comedy, I'd recommend checking it out. Hey, thanks so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow.